Swiss police have confirmed the identity of a Swiss couple whose frozen remains were found on a shrinking glacier last week, 75 years after they went missing. Marcelin and Francine Dumoulin, the parents of seven children, had gone to feed their cattle in a meadow in the Valais Canton when they vanished on August 15, 1942. Bridget Burke reports. The glacier hid their bodies for three quarters of a century until Marcelin and Francine de Moulin's bodies were found in a hole on the saint Florent glacier by an employee doing maintenance work last week. But then when he came closer, he thought that it's strange, such big rocks on the glacier. So he went closer and then he realized that it was uh, two bodies, that there were two bodies, a man. We could see one uh, shoe of a man and two shoes of a woman and some parts of the body, uh, some backpack, some uh, water bottle. Glacier 3000 director Bernard Shannon said the shoemaker and his wife, who was a teacher, were either walking to or returning from Bern when they fell into a crevasse. It was the first time Francine had accompanied her husband on a trip. Then at that time the glacier was much bigger than now and uh, to imagine in winter time we have five, six meters of fresh snow on the glacier. So the last years the glacier shr shrunk a bit. This is now why 75 years later the two bodies came out of, of, on the glacier and it took so much time because they were very deep in the glacier inside. Back home in 1942, the couple's five sons and two daughters were waiting for them. One son spent most of his life combing the glacier for his parents. He, along with all his brothers, were sent to foster homes and have now all passed away. But daughters Monique and Marceline are still alive. 86-year-old Monique, who was 11 at the time and the eldest child, recalls the last time she saw her parents. The day they left, the weather was beautiful. You know, at that time, we didn't have anything like a radio or anything like we have today, giving the weather forecast for a number of days. When they started climbing the glacier, the weather was beautiful, until a huge cloud came when they were in the middle of the glacier. They were swallowed by this cloud. Monique says there is little relief in the discovery of the bodies. 25,300 and something days. I've counted and written on a piece of paper the number of days during which we missed our mum and dad. These are things one can never, ever forget. I'll be able to forget only when I close my eyes for the last time. The Dumoulins were among 280 people listed as missing in the Alps or rivers of the Valais Canton since 1925. Police say they expect to find more bodies as the glaciers melt. For Checkpoint, Bridget Burke.